answer, we went straight to the... I'm David Tregedy, and this is what it's been like to work in news during the COVID-19 pandemic. I've been a working video editor for about 10 years, doing everything from short films to marketing videos and documentaries. But for the last two years, I've been working for Tegna, one of the biggest media organizations in the country that serves about 39% of TV watching households. Specifically, I've been working for the Verify brand, which is a group of fact checkers that serves all 50 plus stations in the Tegna family. But when it first started, it was just me and one journalist Jason Puckett. Hi, I'm Jason, and this is Verify. He hosts the Verify videos, writes articles for the stations to share, and generally keeps the show going, sometimes through sheer force of will. In the first few months of 2020, we actually hired four researchers. Originally, these researchers were hired to help with the 2020 election season, but then the COVID-19 pandemic happened. When COVID-19 started snowballing through the United States, our viewer request inbox went from, you know, a handful of requests per week to a few dozen a day. Initially, we were cutting two videos a day just to try to meet demand. We had so many viewers asking so many questions because information was just flying around like crazy our company instituted a work from home policy. Now for me and Jason, this was relatively easy because we we're used to working in remote situations. But for a lot of people in news, this was a complete change from anything they were used to. So every morning during the pandemic, I've come out to my garage, set up the lights, formatted the cards for the camera, checking lights, sound, all that. Even dealing with noisy upstairs neighbors. Right now about the coronavirus causing you to lose your sense of taste, smell, or both. Was that in there? Yeah. Hello neighbors. <laughs> Usually about halfway through the day, we've picked our topic, Jason's got a script, we've gotten it approved by our managers, and we're shooting the video. From there, I've got three or four hours to edit everything together. Now, Jason will usually source all of the links and documents that we'll need to show our work, so to speak. And then I will animate those things, add in others, and any other B-roll that we can use to highlight the facts. Now that all sounds easy enough, but on the time crunch and we've got people asking, when's it coming, when's it coming, when's it coming? It can get really stressful really quickly trying to make sure that this video gets out accurately and on time, just the pace of day in, day out, creating content that's affecting every American and a lot of people around the world is really stressful. The amount of pressure we feel to deliver this content accurately and timely is, is just been insane. And so it's been really disheartening to go around Twitter and Facebook and see strangers and acquaintances talking about the media as if we're all in this together and we're trying to incite a panic. And while I can only speak for myself, I can tell you there is no grand plan. There's no conspiracy to just incite panic in the public. We see the facts and we deliver them to you as quickly and accurately as we can. And that's it from us anyways. There's nothing about what we do that has any malicious intent. We're just trying to keep the internet honest. I'm not an idealist when it comes to journalism. I never planned to go into news. When I first went to school for filmmaking, I thought I was going to be making thrillers and blockbuster sci-fi movies. That, that was my goal. But as I started getting into documentary and doing more real life kind of projects, I got drawn into this world. I'll also say that the more I do this job, the more I realize how little I know about everything from technology and science to politics. There's just so much in the world that's not as black and white as the internet wants you to believe. And the more I see, the more I realize how much gray there is and how much we have to address things with caution and nuance. I believe everything in the universe happens for a reason. And so once COVID-19 and this pandemic is just a memory, I hope that I can keep living my life remembering that nothing is as simple as it seems. At the end of the day, we're all just human trying to survive and hopefully thrive.